Good afternoon, listeners. Thank you for tuning in. Today we will be investigating Mr. Farrell's AP World History class. Get ready for the Dr. Stock Show. Dark. Good afternoon, viewers. We have a special case on our hands today. A devastating tale is told by a special guest here. Is his story. I took AP World History with Mr. Farrell in my sophomore year, and I had the worst time of my life towards the end of the class. At first, the class was incredibly simple. I had no trouble in the class, and I even corrected the teacher. But that was all a lie. The AP exam showed the truth of AP World History. No one was ready for that exam. The information I was taught was only a basic outline of what I needed to know. And when I came out of that room, I was changed forever. Thank you, Alexander, for that touching story. Now we have a new student in AP World whom Alexander would like to give his testimony to in order to save him from this horrible series of events. So good afternoon, Marshall and Alexander. How are you? Good. Good. I'm going to ask you a couple of questions before you begin to give Marshall his lecture. Hopefully we can settle the trauma that you underwent in Mr. Farrell's AP World History class. What was the biggest surprise about AP World? The simplicity of it in the beginning. The class was deceptively easy. How was Mr. Farrell's contribution to your AP World? Mr. Farrell contributed very little to my advancement. I learned mostly for myself. Can you really blame Mr. Farrell for everything that went down? Do you not blame yourself at all? I could say that some of the blame lies upon me. I could have I could have bought the study book that he suggested. He did say that it was a better idea to learn more from yourself than from the class. But I just thought that he was being modest, but really he didn't teach me everything that I needed to know. So Mr. Farrow did know that he wasn't going to be able to teach all the curriculum? I feel like he knew, but he just didn't think that we would be so unprepared. I feel like he thought that he'd have enough time to give us what was the minimum of what we needed to know, and that we would follow up by ourselves. So, if you were Mr. Farrow, and if you were in his shoes, what would you do exactly? I guess I would just try to go into a little bit more detail, even if it meant missing a few subjects, and then I would tell them what subjects that they needed to study on their own, and I would put a presentation out in my free time to help them with that. So again, what would you change about your experiences in AP World? Exactly what would you do differently for yourself and what would you expect other students to do differently? I know for myself I would buy the study materials and I would focus more on individual study instead of the classwork but for other students I would say that it would be best to find a group of people that you can trust to study with and to work with and that would keep you successful through the class. You sound like good tips. Um, I believe we should get some callers out here and um, we're just going to go to commercial break. Nothing starts the workday off better than that perfect cup of coffee. Now you can have it every day at the office with just a touch of a button when you buy the Filter Fresh Coffee System. This is a mess-free, top-of-the-line system that's perfect for any size workplace. It includes the Keurig coffee machine and the Starbucks interactive brewer. Filter Fresh provides the best gourmet coffee blends so everyone at work can get their favorite blend. We provide Van Oot, Coffee Roaster, Starbucks, Green Mountain, and many more. And don't forget the 100% Arabica coffees in regular or decaf. Filter Fresh has the latest in individual cup coffee systems. All you have to do is push a button. That's right, no pots, no filters, no mess. With Filter Fresh, you get great coffee at the office with just a touch of a button. Not a coffee drinker? No problem. Filter Fresh also provides teas, sodas, juice, paper goods, and more. 
call 1-847-699-6040. That's 1-847-699-6040. Filter Fresh Coffee System. Great coffee at work without the mess. Stark. Hello, welcome back. Thank you for the wait. We thank you for listening to the advertisement. It makes us money. It keeps us on the air. If you change the channel, screw you. You know me. I'm very blunt. I'm going to get it started. Um, thank you again for for waiting. Here we are with some callers. And most of them were a part of Mr. Farrell's AP World class. So here we are first with our first speaker by the name of Buck Lau. He was a member of Mr. Farrell's AP World class last year. And he is here to talk about his experience with Mr. Farrell. Um, here you are. Hello, Buck Lau. Hello, my name is the Buck Lau, and I was part of Federal LP World History. You know, my English is very bad, my English. Uh, every single day, he would give us a chapter reading, and I swear to God, I'm like, man, why don't you teach me something? You know about the Renaissance? I don't care about the Renaissance. I want to know about the modern day, you know, the ISIS, you know, the Al-Qaeda. I want to know things. And I swear to God, he never taught us anything. Every damn day. It's like, here's the chapter reading, here's some homework. Like, boy, I want to know something. So, Buck Lau, my question is... Do you believe with all of your heart that you didn't do anything good for yourself in order to pass the class? No, none of it was my fault. I swear, I, there was a project he made us assign for the Islam pitch. I did all the work and no one else did the work and I had to get an A plus for them. And I swear to God, I want to cry like right now. All right, Buckloud, don't get too emotional. We're going to let you go. Thank you. We'll send you a t-shirt. We thank you for listening. We thank you for calling. We also have another caller here. His name is Charlie. He was a member two years ago of Mr. Farrell's AP World Class. He scored a four on the AP exam, which is very exemplary. And Charlie wants to talk about his experience in AP World and what he did to make his experience better. Yes, hi, Dr. Stark. This is Charlie. Um, Hello, Charlie. I, I, I have to say, I disagree with that last man who called. Um, I very much like the class. I believe that the class was actually really good. I enjoyed Farrell's teaching and studying only one or two days on World War II. Because that was definitely such a small subject in our history, you know. it Of course, learning about the Neolithic Revolution, the Neolithic era, that's always the most important part because that affects us so much today. I mean, what else is there? Well, um, what tips do you give to get a four on the AP exam if obviously the teacher wasn't the best that he could have been? Oh, but he could he was the best that he could have been. And see, my best tip is just listen to everything he says. Don't You don't need to do any outside studying. You don't need to do any of that. You are perfectly fine if you just listen to everything he says throughout the entire year. So are you telling me that Alexander is, is, has gone through something totally different? Do you think Farrell has changed over the last two years? Who knows if he ever had Farrell? Maybe it was another teacher posing as Farrell. Who knows? Farrell might not have even been there. Because if I remember correctly, Farrell was one of the best teachers I've ever had. All right, thank you, Charlie. You have been a, one of our best callers we ever had. Very good poise manner. We'll send you two t-shirts, each by Dr. Stock. All right, we got a couple more callers here. We have Mr. Earl, who's calling from uh, Michigan. He's calling to tell us about what he thinks these young men should learn. These young kids these days don't have any real appreciation of their teachers. I mean, their teacher can send them information instantaneously. Back when I was in school, we didn't have that kind of communication. And even if our teacher was a bad teacher, you just had to read the textbook. I don't feel like these young ones don't read the textbook no more. I mean... Blaming the teacher for their problems, for their laziness. Lazy kids these days. Let me tell you what I think about these kids and their cell phones. These kids and their, these kids and their everything. Are you going on a tangent, mister? Did you just, did you just say I was going on a tangent, young boy? boy? <laughs> I apologize, keep going. I'm, I'm sorry. These kids these days, I, I, I don't even remember what I was going to say anymore. <laughs> Rude son of a... <laughs> I'm sorry, we're going to have to cut you off there. Um, but thank you for calling, Mr. Earl. We're going to send you a headband and um, a couple of catheters. And we're going to make sure that your life is better. And we're going to 
uh, send a letter to your family because we believe that you might need a nursing home. <laughs> All right. Those were very interesting callers, I tell you. But anyway, we're going to have to talk to Alexander. He's been sitting here patiently waiting to talk. Um, he's going to talk to Marshall. Marshall here. How are you, Marshall? I'm doing good. How are you, Dr. Sir? I'm very good. Thank you. Um, Marshall, he's going to talk to him, and he would like to proceed to give his 10 tips to how to survive Mr. Farrell's AP World History class. Here's Marshall. So you've got your cell phone. Here's the first tip I've got. You're always going to have your cell phone, right? So just take your cell phone and record the lesson. Don't, don't really listen to the lesson while it's going on. You should really just study individually while the lesson's going on. And, you know, if you are listening to the lessons, pull out your phone while you're recording it and look up more information than what Farrell's telling you. I'd have to say my second tip would be uh, there are, there's a really good series of AP World History videos called Crash Course World History. It's, it's going to supplement your knowledge really well. You're going to get a lot more prepared just by watching all of those pretty much. Uh, then listen to your recordings before the tests. Listen to your recordings like a couple of days before the next test. And that way you'll learn the material that you need to know for the test. Uh, if you work on projects and uh, homework assignments in groups, you'll be You'll get them done much quicker, and you'd have other people to test your knowledge. Uh, choose people who you trust to work with you. That's my next tip. I'd say that's tip number five. Just make sure you trust the people you're working with. Number six, um, if you don't understand the material, look it up yourself. Because sometimes Mr. Farrell's explanation may be even more confusing. Number seven, just remember that the exam is the most important part of the class. The AP exam is what you're there for. Number eight, don't allow yourself to get distracted. Do your best to get a good grade in the class, but, you know, remember that the test is important, but the class will also, you know, keep your GPA up. And don't, elef don't allow yourself to fall behind in the class, because falling behind will stress you out, and you'll get distracted. Don't be intimidated by the exam. The exam is something that you can't prepare for. You just have to put in the work, and you have to do it yourself. Don't rely on Mr. Farrell. Rely on yourself. Those are 10 wonderful tips, Alexander. Thank you so much for coming on the show. Thank you for constantly listening, calling us up, asking us to do it to a segment on this we thank you so much for everything that you have done for us and are doing for students that are coming into mr farrell's class in the future thank you again so so much we're going to have you back on later to talk about other things including ib including your decisions to do things thank you so much so here is marshall we're going to ask marshall do you think that these tips will work do you think that these are good ideas or are you ready to back out of AP World hearing the things that Alexander has said? Overall, what Alexander said, I feel like I'm, I'll be prepared if I actually follow these rules because they do make sense. And I feel like I can pass with the, at least a three or a four in the AP exam if I actually study and I keep focusing to the class. So that's what I believe. All right. We're going we're gonna to leave here. We're going to thank you all for listening. And um, we're going to ask you to please donate money at www.drstockshow.com. We need to stay on air to be able to inform the people of this nation every single day on our podcast. Thank you very much. God bless. Stop.